isometric view. In this video, we will learn how to construct an isometric view using orthographic projections. This is our 10th video on the topic. These are the orthographic projection of the object. To construct the isometric view or 3D view of the object, we first need to create the isometric axis. To do this, take a ruler and draw a horizontal line. Then, mark a center point on this line. Next, take a protractor and mark 30 degrees on both sides of the center point, as well as 90 degrees. Draw lines passing through these points from the center point. The line passing through the 30 degree mark will be the X axis, the line passing through the 90 degree mark will be the Y axis, and the remaining line will be the Z axis. With these three isometric axes in place, we can now construct the isometric view of the object. Next, we need to decide whether to draw the front view in the XY plane or the YZ plane. It's important to remember that the front view should only be drawn in these two planes, and never in the XZ plane. The top view of the object is always drawn in the XZ plane, so that's another key point to keep in mind. In this video, we will use the first angle projection method. The diagram on the left illustrates the front view, while the diagram on the right depicts the object's left-hand side view. Let's now initiate the drawing process. The object's length measures 75 mm, as specified in the front view. Similarly, the width is established at 50 mm, as indicated in the side view. Moreover, the height of the rectangular base is defined as 32 mm, as shown here. With these dimensions in consideration, we are ready to create the outline for the base of the given object. To proceed, use a drafter and create the base outline as demonstrated. Now, let's focus on the side view of the object where we notice a distinctive V-shaped groove extending 36 mm along its length. To replicate this V-shaped groove, we will begin by dividing the side length into two equal parts, since the groove aligns perfectly with the middle of the side view. After this division, mark two points at a distance of 9 mm from the corners on each side. Next. To pinpoint the third crucial point, draw a vertical line that spans 16 mm downward from the center point you established earlier. The end point of this line will serve as the third point. To complete the construction, connect these three identified points. This will effectively recreate the V-shaped groove within the side view. Following this, your next step involves extending this groove by 36 mm along the length. To achieve this, draw lines that are 36 mm in length, parallel to the x-axis, from each of these three corner points. Finally, join the endpoints of these extended lines to seamlessly finalize the detailed groove. And there you have it. The base of the given orthographic views is now complete. The next step involves completing the top portion of the object. Observing the dimensions, the bottom of this top section features a length of 24 mm and a width of 38 mm. You can deduce this by subtracting 12 mm from the total width of 50 mm, which accounts for the overall object width. Now, shifting our focus to the top portion, you'll notice it measures 24 mm in both length and width. With these dimensions in mind, let's move on to constructing the base for this upper part. Begin by marking a point 12 mm away from the corner, as demonstrated. Subsequently, draw a 24 mm line parallel to the x-axis from this point. Then, create a parallel line to the z-axis from the endpoint of the previously drawn line. This serves as the foundation for the upper portion of the given object. Now. Let's proceed with constructing the top portion itself. Considering the height of this top part is 24 mm, 
draw vertical lines of 24 millimeters from these two points. Join the endpoints of these lines to establish the vertical side of the upper portion. Continuing, since the object's top section holds dimensions of 24 millimeters in length and width, it's time to craft a square at this height. Elegantly construct a square spanning 24 millimeters, following the visual cues. Finally, connect these two points to achieve the completion of the isometric view. This completes the isometric view for the given orthographic projections. This is the final required isometric view. I hope this tutorial helped to understand how to construct the isometric view of an object from its orthographic projections. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. And if you're new to my channel ADTW study, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with all my latest videos.